Good morning from Athens, Greece. We are taking today to just explore all of the sounds and sights of Greece. We're gonna start out by getting a cup of coffee and then heading around just to see some of the notable sights in the area. But our big ticket item for today is we got tickets to the Acropolis and we're gonna tour that and we've heard it takes a few hours. So that's probably gonna be a majority of our day. Also, there are a ton of stray cats everywhere, and there's even an experience on Airbnb devoted specifically to the stray cats here in Athens. Kind of funny. This is the Panathenaic Stadium. This is the home of the first official Olympics in 1896. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go inside of the stadium. Right now, we're going to make our way across the street to the National Garden. It's the main outdoor space here in Athens, Greece, and it's home to a few different ponds, a bunch of ducks, and there's actually a little zoo in there, too, that we found yesterday that's got, like, these gnarly-looking goats. We had to show you guys these goats. They're insane-looking. We're going to head over there now before we head off to the Acropolis. Also, not sure how much I'm going to be able to show you guys of this, but there's the presidential palace up here on the right and there's like these really official slow moving guards kind of like what they have in dc at the tomb of the unknown soldier here's the zoo uh, it's done. Now we're moving on. It's a little pond in the middle of the park. I feel like this place really explodes in the spring with just colors and a lot of different plant life and a lot of different flowers. Fortunately, we're not here in the spring, but there's still a lot that you can see and there's a ton, a ton of space to walk around. There are ancient ruins here as well. They're very small, but they're, they're here and they're ancient and cool. Now that we've explored some of the outdoor space here, we're going to start slowly making our way over to the Acropolis. Our tour starts at one, so we've got time, but we want to get a little bit closer and maybe we'll be able to get in a little bit earlier. Hannah's navigating, so she walked off without me. This is kind of random, but here's some ruins of some kind. Ministry of Culture, Third Ephoriate of Athens Antiquities. Archaeological site of a Roman bath. Trey's relying on me to get us there. I'm taking it very seriously, so we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there on time. You're trying to build on your navigational skills. Yes. I feel you. <laughs> A mask fell out of my pocket somewhere and I don't know where it went so we're scrambling trying to find a place that sells masks. There she is saving the day. <laughs> All right got the mask on. Time to try and see if we can find at least the entrance to the Acropolis. It's just a mask. Watching her like a hawk. So in case the audio sounds really bad, we had to take off the camera mic. It's a rule of the ministry here that while in the Acropolis, you'd have a camera and you can vlog, but you can't have a mic. But let the record show that Hannah got us here safely and found masks. <laughs> yeah, she did. Definitely did. So the Acropolis is basically visible anywhere in the city. And Acropolis actually is two Greek words. One is Akron, which means edge, and polis, which means city. So edge of the city. Mm -hmm. 
This is the world's first theater, the Theater of Dionysus. Somehow sat 17,000 people in this little theater. So obviously it's overgrown, but I'm guessing it was just so much bigger. So this was the Temple of Asclepios, which was dedicated to the god of medicine, Asclepion. So this basically served as a hospital in ancient Greek times. Supposedly this massive structure once had a wooden roof on top of it, which is crazy to think about. I don't know why, but for some reason, I've always thought that all that was up here was the Parthenon, and that is not true at all. There's so many different monuments and temples and statues and areas of worship. And even though the Parthenon is what commands the skyline here in Athens, there's so much more to this place. You obviously want to come here for the history and the Parthenon and the, like everything that goes into the Acropolis, but also if you want like the best view of the city of Athens that you'll ever see in your life, this is the place to be. It overlooks everything. So that was the Acropolis. So, so cool. It is awesome. So much more than just the Parthenon. And I, honest, I honestly thought that was the only part of the Acropolis, but yeah. there's so much more. Definitely come check it out if you're ever in Athens. Just come to Athens. I mean, this place is amazing. amazing. The food is incredible. <laughs> and we're going to try and do a food tour a little bit later this week. It's too good not to do a video on. So, <laughs> so good. we're going to wrap things up. I guess you'll see us in a few more days here in Athens once again. See you later. Um, no, hold on, snap. Which is gonna be super cool. And I, I think this is kind of bouncy. And she said cappuccino, and I said, sure, I know what that is. So <laughs> that's what we have. If I get in trouble, then. I guess you'll know, because we won't have a camera. Did it for the video. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so smooth. Wow, look at this rock. We're not geologists though, it's okay. No, <laughs> it's kind of hard, isn't it? This flag is not going to cooperate for us today. My favorite part about this place is they have a Parthenon, which is like an exact, an exact replica of the one in Nashville where we're from. I'm going to play a new game and it's called How Many Videos Is Trey Going to Take of Cats? <laughs>